Hey everyone, long time no vlog, just making myself a coffee to start the day. Um, I took a couple of weeks off posting, as I'm sure you saw many people did, um, after George Floyd was murdered at the hands of the US police. Um, I just saw my whole social media timeline, I'm just gonna crouch down while I talk to you, um, I saw my whole timeline just be like a flood with messages about Black Lives Matter, the movement, um, and I saw how important it was and how much I was learning through having it be that literally every time I check social media, that was what everyone was talking about. Um, it was really important to give space to that conversation and yeah, to just to, to listen and share and amplify voices. So that's what I've been doing the past few weeks um, over on Twitter. I realized that I didn't say anything on YouTube. So I wanted to just address it at the start of this video to say <laughs> that that's where I stand on this matter. I hope maybe that would have been obvious, but um, I don't know, I've learned also over the past few weeks about how important it is to actually say something and to actually like put a stake in the ground. Um, and so, yeah, to any of my black viewers, I know these past few weeks must've been really, really hard for you. I can't imagine what, what you've been feeling, what you've been going through clearly, but um, yeah, I hope you know that I'm, I'm there with you. I've been donating to the bail funds, signing the petitions, doing the things, sharing voices and, just learning a lot myself as well. I obviously never considered myself to be a racist person, uh, but I've been learning a lot about anti-racism and how it's like, you have to do more than just be not racist. You have to actively push against it because of the way our society is set up and the fact that it is so systemic, um, not just in the US, but all around the world. So I've been reading a really good book called How to Be an Anti-Racist. I'll leave a link to that in the description if you are a fellow non-black person and you want to check that out. It's been, yeah, really, really good. Learned a lot from it. Then fucking JK Rowling comes out with her anti-trans bullshit. Just, I don't know. It's been a tough few weeks for the internet, you know? And um, I hope all of my trans viewers as well know that I stand with you too. And I just, yeah, it must be, if you're a Harry Potter fan, so disappointing to, to have seen that. I feel like I don't talk about all this very often in vlogs because my vlogs and like YouTube channel in general are so focused on my work. Um, and if you don't follow me on Twitter, where I am very vocal about this a lot, you might not have known um, that that's what I believe. So I just wanted to start off this video saying that, um, saying that I stand with you and um, let's keep this conversation going. Let's keep learning and let's keep pushing against it. It's been like, honestly, it feels like we're at, at the start of a revolution, right? Things are changing, laws are changing because of people standing up, because of people protesting, signing the petitions, doing all the things. Uh, and not just like those changing, but people's minds and opinions changing as well. It's up to us to make sure that continues, you know, it's because we want this world to be a better place for everyone in it, not just the white people. So uh, yeah, let's let's keep it going. This week I decided not to vlog work day because most of the work I was doing this week was very like not visual. So I didn't have anything cool to really show you. Um, it was actually like one of those weeks where I didn't do any design work until Friday. Um, yeah, there was a lot of like campaign organizing and writing and test analysis and stuff like that going into my week. So today is Saturday. I just made a coffee to get on with a bunch of stuff I want to do today. Um, I have makeup on and my hair done because I'm recording an episode of my new series today, Inside Marketing Design. This has been something I've been recording over the past month or so-ish. Um, yeah, so we're going to another episode today. I'm going to get on with editing an episode today and show you a cool new editing tool I've been using. Um, and then I'm also going to get started working on a new gallery wall, which I mentioned a couple of vlogs back, um, but a lot of the pieces have finally turned up for it. So I'm excited to get started on that. So let me get off my kitchen floor and uh, let's get going. <laughs> This has been my setup for how I've been recording these um, episodes because, um, okay, I use my own camera for my video feed. I record on Zoom for my guest video feed and I try and like have Zoom sitting around here on the screen. I don't know if you can see my mouse, I'll point. <laughs> so that when I'm looking at them, I'm like not too far off looking at the camera, you know? Um, then I record my audio separately in Audition, coming from my microphone here. Audio snobs, I know I need to get a better microphone. I know this is like the cliche starter podcast microphone, 
but this is this is what we got for now and we're working with it i think that recording went really well um one thing that i'm really liking about doing this series is that my guests are not like fellow influencers no shade to my fellow influencers you know that i love you a lot but i just think it's cool to have on people who wouldn't normally go on a podcast because they don't like i don't know they're not building the audience of their own or having a thing to promote they're just excited to share with me about how things work at their company and so that's been really fun i want to show you quickly uh, that new editing tool that i mentioned that i've been using let me just pull it up here so it's called Descript. You might have heard of it before, um, but it essentially lets you edit a video by editing text or audio if you want, but you can also do video. So here's an example of what it looks like. And um, you upload the file and then it transcribes it. It's an auto transcription. So like, it's not great. It can be a little, you know, a little off at times, but then I can do things like, say if I want to get rid of this R uh, right here, I can just highlight it and delete it and if you watch down here where um it's like on the timeline if i delete boom it'll delete from my timeline as well of my footage and so it's been just like so much faster to go through and edit the videos by like editing the text i don't know why i've like slept on this app for so long because it's not new you know <laughs> but yeah that's that's been that's been my process so far i've only edited two but um yeah import the footage do the edit, the first like rough edit by looking at the text and taking out parts there, then bringing it into Premiere Pro because you can export this to Premiere and then it imports sort of like as a timeline with all the cuts in the same places. It's like one of those times where I'm like, technology is magic, I don't know how they do this. So I've just been finishing this morning um, editing, like doing the full edit of an episode that I did interviewing Brent, the designer at Proof. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited with how this series is going. If you haven't heard me talk about it yet, um, and I don't know if I already touched on it already in this uh, vlog, but this series is going to be called Inside Marketing Design. You can go to insidemarketingdesign.co and subscribe to be notified when it goes live, but the episodes will be uploaded to this channel too. So if you're subscribed, you will see whenever episode one comes out, which will probably be in July. I think I'm going to make myself like completely finish that edit because there's just a couple of things I have to touch on at the end and then I'm gonna let myself get into these frames that I have hanging around my room um, and start filling them with art so that I can extend my gallery wall and tidy up the mess that is currently on our spare bed. <laughs> framed these are like sitting a few things deep back here um i feel like i don't have as much art as i expected there are still a couple of empty frames i have because some pieces haven't arrived yet the, the problem when you don't live in the us and you order things from the us is things can take a long time to arrive and sometimes they can get lost in the mail so i don't know if i actually need to like reorder some of these things um but anyway i'm gonna go ahead with just arranging what i have now um so now i'm gonna like lay it on the floor i guess my plan is to add like one more row of art on this side to sort of fill in that wall and then start coming onto this wall i'm gonna have this piece here sort of like you know up on the wall um like imagine there-ish <laughs> as like the centerpiece there and then the blue one a little bit further along so then yeah i've just got to arrange all these other bits to, to look good around it. Let's get going. <laughs>
Good morning, folks. We're now into Tuesday, so, um, yep, we got to end this vlog for a few days, my bad. This is what my gallery wall is looking like. I'm so excited about it. It's turning out how I hoped. I just wanted this whole corner to just feel like an explosion of art, just all over the place. Very overwhelming and, you know, looking really cool, and it's turning out how I hoped. I stopped hanging up after here, obviously. Um, I've still got all these pictures down here to go, but I decided I didn't want the two Anthony Burrell prints too close together. Like I said, I think earlier in the vlog, I've got these empty frames around here still because there's some art that hasn't arrived yet and like it would be ideal if I had the big piece that's supposed to fill this frame to go in here. And I also have ordered this like banner flag thing from a company called Oxford Pennant. I saw it in my friend Brent Galloway's Instagram and I loved it. it says you'll think of something and um, I ordered that back in April when I did like my big art shopping spree and it hasn't arrived yet so I just followed up with them because I hope that that didn't get lost on the way because it was not cheap um, and it would also look really cool on my wall in this spot but we don't want to rush things and I want it to look good so I'm just holding off on these last few pictures just hanging out on the floor right now. Um, some very exciting news over the weekend my sister had a baby so I am now an aunt which is so exciting. So Sammy, if you're watching, super huge congratulations. I'm so happy for you and so proud of you and how well you did. Now I just need the world to calm down a little so that I can get back to New Zealand and meet the kid, you know? I'm hoping that's something I can make happen later this year. You saw in that last clip from the weekend that I was wearing a mask because I went to the supermarket. That's like mandatory in Spain, but um, most things are pretty opened up here now. Like you can go to restaurants, you can go to shops. It's kind of like a new normal as we keep calling it. But because you have to wear a mask out and about, it's just not fun. Like it's unpleasant to be walking around wearing a mask. It's difficult to breathe. You're not getting like the fresh air benefits. So for that reason, you probably won't see me out and about much in vlogs because it's just, it's just not very fun. But I am hoping in the coming weeks to finally meet up with some friends after so long, you know, that'd be nice. And yeah, hoping to travel back to New Zealand later on this year. Um, New Zealand have a thing where at the moment, I think it is, they're only letting Kiwis in, or apparently if you work on Avatar, then you're allowed to get in too. But when you enter the country, you're supposed to stay quarantined for two weeks. And so, you know, that's such a long journey. And I'm like, you know, wanting to see my family to be like in the country, but having to stay two weeks by myself in a hotel, that doesn't sound very fun. I know it's for the best, but you know, it's still annoying and I'm still allowed to complain about it. Anyway, I'll end this vlog here. I'll spin around so you can see my gallery wall again. Ah, I love it so much. Thanks for watching this vlog. Um, thanks for your patience with my few weeks off. I've got some exciting videos coming up. One about the full process of making my font. One about building the web store for my font. Something about user testing. There's just lots of fun stuff coming up. So subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next videos. Bye everyone.